the ability to process transient visual and or auditory information is the is very highly correlated. The visual transient processing seems to be highly correlated with orthographic abilities, and the auditory transient processing problems seem to be, uh, not problems, abilities, seem to be uh, highly correlated with um, uh, the phonological decoding abilities of children. And this is across the spectrum, so it's implicate, very nice. The implicate in both is the core processing frequency and yes. the ability to make distinctions. Exactly. That's what it's all about. Is it, it implicates the core processing frequency and the ability to make distinctions, um, both in the auditory and the visual modality. If, if the strength of the sort of representation between the visual input and whatever it is you're trying to retrieve in long-term memory, whether it's a phonological code or it's a meaning, you know, any of those things, if those things are weak so that um, the search is slow, and the, the product that's retrieved is below threshold. You know, you're really, children who are in that situation really suffer for it. All ways in which you use information that you're receiving is dependent upon signal quality. It's all dependent upon how sharply, how crisply, how strongly, how effectively, how, how reliably the brain represents little, little pieces of, of sound flowing in, you could say. And so, so if you have a fault at the bottom of this chain, then you have a problem with everything, okay? And that's fundamentally what, 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 what the problem is. Now, I want to say one thing farther about this. In a sense, another way that people fail to are confuse themselves about this is that they truly do imagine that there can be a fault at the bottom of the chain without a fault everywhere. Or they imagine there could be a fault at the top of the chain without a fault at the bottom. This is wrong because, in fact, no part of a, of a language system operates in isolation of any other part. Faults are shared, right? If you have a fault at the top, you have a fault at the bottom and vice versa. They're co-implicated. They're co-implicated. So there is a common argument that it, there, can be, there can be truly a deficit in something like your ability to, to know, to devolve a word into its sound parts and to recognize that it has those parts. But in fact, a brain that does that reliably and normally uh, has adequate processing all across its operational system by necessity, and a brain that fails to do that reliably is expressing a problem of fa a failure in operation of the brain all across its operational system. They're complexly interconnected top to bottom and bottom to not top, and you cannot really think of them as operating in isolation.